Welcome to the Hobby Grotto. Sometimes it's necessary to remove the bases on miniatures and you want to make this as painless as possible because it's not the most fun job in the world. I always start with the removal of the sides of the base with some clippers, being careful to remove just the plastic coming out from the base so we keep an undamaged top layer. Depending on the size of the base you're moving to, sometimes removing the sides of the old base is all you need to do, and then you can just rebase around the edges here. But if you're moving a miniature to a small base, you might need to cut this down further to make it fit. Now, personally, I like to remove the whole base, and you do this the same way, don't try and cut straight through the middle here or you'll risk buckling the legs of the mini. Instead, cut the sides off first, same as before. And then I snip chunks out until the legs are separated. Doing it in little bits like this helps take the strain off the legs, which is very important if you're rebasing a bunch of skellies with those thin little ankles, trust me. Once you get it to this level, you can just snip the last bits away and you'll be left with a tiny little bit of base under the feet. It looks kind of like platforms. Uh, if you're brave enough, you can try cutting this off horizontally, but it's not really that noticeable if you leave it on once the basing's done. Incidentally, this is also the way I remove bases when I paint strip minis. I should also mention that there is another option called base converters and you can just use them like this or glue them in and remove the corners. This can be handy if you still want to use the miniatures for different gaming systems. I've got a little bit of magnetic strip on these ones so they get held to the base by the uh, magnets I've already got under there. So there you have it. Rebasing minis isn't that scary, it just takes a bit of time. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Hobby Grotto.